if you're not using Google Bard for your blogging and SEO, you're falling behind. It is one of the coolest AI tools that I've used for now months and months. And the more I'm using it, the better I'm getting. And also the more it's growing, like, so it's gone from Bard uh, itself, then it's gone to Bard Pam 2, and then it's gone to Bard Gemini. And Bard Gemini is getting so, so good now. While ChatGPT is going down like this, it, it really is. It's getting lazy. It's all over the news that it is. Bard isn't. Bard is going forward step by step by step. It's actually surprising me how good it's getting. So in this video, we're going to be looking at five prompts that you can use for your blogging journey. We're going to look at article creating. We're going to look at social media. We're going to look at monetization and a few more as well. But I want to make sure that you note this, all right? So if you're not from America, I think uh, Gemini is only available in America. It could be available in the UK as well, maybe, potentially. But you can still access Bard Gemini, okay? And what you need to actually do is you need to download a free uh, VPN, something like TunnelBear, or I use ExpressVPN myself, and you just turn it on and go to the US. And then you go into Bard, and it will update your location to the US uh, location, and then you'll be able to use Bard Gemini, the latest version of it that's available. Okay, super, super important you do that because its, it's capabilities are far better than what it was before. So I'm super excited for this. Look, my name's Kieran Doyle. Really, really hope you enjoy this. If you're new here, I uh, hope that I earn your subscription. If you're returning, thanks so much. I really hope you like this. I'm going to get stuck back into Bard again for SEO and blogging. So with that said, look, these are, these are things that you need to get stuck into. So please do. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are over at Bard. Now, this could be my favorite prompt here. And the reason that it is, especially for you and your blog, is it looks at what's ranking already on Google. And then it looks at the top five articles on for your main keyword on Google. And then it creates an outline that's actually 20% better than the average of the first five blog posts. OK, so this is really, really good. So it's super, super simple to need or to use. All you need is the prompt and you need your keyword that you're looking to target your content on. So you, you understand about keyword research. You understand that you need to actually go and search for keywords that you need to actually use so that your articles appear on the search engines for when people are actually searching. So let's look at the prompt. I'll come over to my sub stack here and you can grab the prompt. And if you're if you like Substack or if you use it, just click the like and uh, subscribe to me and you'll get all my prompts all the time coming through on there. OK, so we come back to Bard and we're just going to paste it in here based on the following keyword search on Google. Can you create an article outline that is 20 percent better than the first five positions on Google? So we're just going to put in our main keyword here. We're just going to go the one that many people kind of uh, encounter, especially new to blogging, new to SEO, new to content marketing. So based on the following keyword uh, search on Google and we put in why does my website not appear on Google? Can you create an article outline that is 20 percent better than the first five positions on Google? OK, so here we go. We've got a, a great hook to start us open in here. We've got our problems, our solutions, our pro tips. We've got a call to action. We've even got bonus points that it's actually put in here as well. So it's go through new website blues. Google has stumbled upon your new or hasn't stumbled upon your new website yet. Indexing limbo, technical hiccups, content invisibility, penalty purgatory. I quite like the way that new Gemini actually brings forth its points. OK, and so just go through that. You've got an absolutely brilliant uh, outline for your article now. And Bard can actually help you write that content as well. So let's go and look at the next one that we actually have here. So we're going to come back to my article. And what we're going to do with this one is we're actually going to um, look at creating a social media post. OK, we're going to look at creating social media posts based off of the content that we've actually created. So this is really cool and I love this one, okay? So based on the article, can you create two captivating social media posts that adhere to best Facebook post length guidelines? Ensure to start with an engaging question and include relevant hashtags, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab uh, an article I did here on my Substack, which is called Be a Topic Boss. And this is all about topical authority. And I'm just gonna put the text in there, okay? 
And great, so here we go. So Facebook post one, as you can see, and Facebook post two, okay? And as you can see here, if you see this on the side like this, this means that it's Google Gemini that's working in the background here, okay? It's not Google Pam 2, it's Google Gemini, the most up-to-date one. And if you also notice down here, I got my IP addresses in the United States, even though I'm in Spain, okay? And we've got, is your website lost in the search engine wilderness, okay? And then we've got a bit of text, all that, kind of finish, uh, what's what's your niche shared in the comments, okay? Then we got our Facebook post too, remember my client is lost, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So there you go, there's how you create social media posts related to your content as well. And you can do this as many times as you want. You can go through and ask it to create two, create two, create two. And it's going to give you a lot of different variations of posts that you can actually use for your specific blog posts. Okay, so the next one we want to look at is email marketing. Okay, and I love this one. Okay, we can use the same tab here because we're using the article again okay so based on the following article create an engaging short email that includes a subject line and a sub subject line great teasing copywriting and hints at the solution and a strong call to action encouraging that they will find the solution by reading the article okay the great thing about this is you've got now the article now you've got your social posts as well okay and now you've got your email so as you can see here uh, stuck in the search engine purgatory. Here's the secret to ranking high. Uh, let's forget the one size fits all. Discover the SEO strategy that skyrocketed my client to number two. Okay. Email body. Hey there, et cetera, et cetera. Here's how it works. The benefits. Want to see it in action? Okay. P.S. And then your call to action. Click the link in the article to read it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And then some notes at the end as well. So there you've got your email done. Now let's move on to the next prompt. Okay. The next prompt is a monetization strategy. Okay. And we we need to be able to do this, okay? We need to be able to look at our blog posts that we're actually creating and realize, right, we're not just creating it for the sake of creating it. What are the options? What is the ability here to actually create income with what it is that we're creating? And this is super important. I want you to get this into your head, okay? Um, because Bard didn't, Bard asked for the article the last time, I'm just going to paste the article in here. So here's my prompt. Based on my article here, can you outline five ways that I can monetize this and actual real world examples of the monetization strategies? Okay, and we're gonna paste our article in again and it's gonna come up with five ways that we can actually utilize to create our, that we can put into place to actually monetize what it is that we've created. Okay, offer SEO consulting services, leverage your expertise, highlight the client's struggles and your successful solution in the article. Okay, so we did this, okay. Create and sell an online course related to it. Develop in-depth ebooks or guides. Host niche-focused webinars or workshops, or build a membership community. Okay, so this is giving you the ability to realize. Look, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, but Bar's going to get your monetization juices flowing, and that's really what this is about. You need to be kind of thinking all the time: How do I monetize? How do I monetize? How do I monetize? Because Blogging when you monetize is far nicer and far better than blogging when you don't monetize. Okay, really, when you start getting your sales in, when you get your first sale off your blog, it's awesome. It's so, so good. Okay, so let's go to the final prompt of today. And this is basically networking and collaboration. So connecting with other bloggers and influencers and industry experts can lead to guest posting opportunities, joint ventures, and increased visibility. Okay, so we're going to go and we're just going to paste this in here. We're going to grab our article again and we're going to paste it in here, okay, and press enter. And again, what it's going to do, it's going to give you the ability to actually start taking note of what's actually going on within your niche, within your blogging niche, to see who are the movers and shakers, who potentially you can get in contact with. Now here, what it's done, it's kind of pulled up Backlinko, Smart Blogger, Niche Pursuit, Authority Hacker, uh, your niche communities, and it's given us tips at the bottom as well. Now, the last time that it did it, it said, hey, look, you know, if you're a new website, maybe you want to reach out on Twitter. Maybe you want to post your article on Twitter and then potentially you want to actually tag the person from uh, who you want to get their attention with on Twitter as well. And potentially they pick up your article, okay? Here is the thing when it comes to collaboration. If you start sharing another person's article and start talking really good about them, or even mention them in your content, they're going to be higher than likely 
to actually start creating content with you or being able to share your content. So remember that it's super important. So anyway, there's five awesome prompts for your blogging journey. This is only part one. I'm going to have a video coming out with the next five in a few days. My name's Kieran Doyle. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you're new here, I'd love a, a like and a subscribe. And look, I'll talk to you in the next video. Make sure that you click check out my Substack. It's where everything that I'm going to be posting from now on is going to be all my prompts and all that. So keep it easy. Talk soon.